I really want to do this. Years of planning. And just say, screw it. I can't wait. Is that really all I want to do this? Eh, why not? I can do what I want. If I want to do this, and then I want to do a full playthrough later with the professionals, what the hell is going to stop me? Let's do this. <laughs> Greeting interwebs, this is Jackie K, and if you can't tell by the title, this is a playthrough of Pokemon Leaf Green, but there's a catch. Those of you who have been following my channel around for a while might know that in the past, I made video responses to a particular Versus series. Currently between John, aka Mr. Waterwave, and Dovi, aka Sephiroth1204. They do Versus against each other. They used to do an on Piers Unknown, and then they made their own channel. And I had a blast just playing along on my own, so I, I'm gonna go, what the heck, let's just record it. Never fear, if I do do the first generation yet again, I do have a plan that will make it different from this. Maybe not different enough for you, but we can have fun. Do what I want, and if you don't like it, don't watch it. You might like what I have down the road. Although, the, just the issue is, it's never clear when that road's gonna start, so why just wait around? And just go for what I want. I'm not sure if that was clear. But, as you can see, I started this on my own. But, just for you guys. Despite the fact that I actually pulled in the league. On my own time, I will reset. Even though it will take lots of efforts. To do as well as I did last time. And quite a bit of luck too. How is it going to go is basically it will be like I'm playing through the game on my own while talking to you guys. Catch is I'll also be listening to the Versus episode. So this is episode one, so I'll be listening to episode one of the Versus. If for whatever reason they cut away to show something else, I'm not allowed to move until they actually progress in the game again. If editing me takes a little time and care, you should be able to see how the verses is progressing along me, although, unless I'm quoting something, you won't be hearing the commentary from the other playthrough. So I would highly recommend checking out the verses for yourself, unless you're underage and don't like inappropriate things. Because besides that issue, it can be pretty funny stuff. So it's gonna be more like a speed run. Commentary style wise. And it might seem a little odd. I have no idea how it's going to go. Because I'll be listening to something else. As I am. Recording the game. But we're just going to go with it. And see how it goes. Hopefully it won't be a complete train wreck. And for those of you who are looking for a story. You might want to wait. Until I do a more professional. Playthrough of Gen 1. Because I will be speeding through anything that's text to keep up the pace here. And basically, as soon as they start is when I start. Go! Mashing through all the buttons because buttons are things to mash. <laughs> that story doesn't even really matter. In the grand scheme of the real story, so it's like they put it in there to slow you down. Hello there, there's a Pokemon. Hello, Oak. Candy yeah, is a Pokemon. I'm surprised you have that Pokemon of all things. Now I'm name myself. Yes, I am a boy. And I will be Jacket. Because that's what I always say. I'm. <laughs> oh boy. I think I gotta explain things because you'll see it on screen at least. So they actually did a versus before this. 
And in that versus, mm, John was the girl, and Dobie was the boy. So they decided to swap that around. <laughs> oh boy. Remember when I said that if you're sensitive, that versus might not be a thing for you? Yeah, they're already <laughs> getting to that point. Yeah. Less than a minute in. New record, guys! You even made me get distracted! <laughs> Ugh, speaking of, someone is already getting detoured back to the lab by the professor. I am just going slow. How did that happen anyways? Like, I was ahead when I was naming the characters. And then when I look back at the gameplay they have, they're... Jonathan the lead. Hashtag John Cheats. <laughs> okay, why am I getting the habit of saying hashtag cheats anyways? Oh boy, now I'm gonna talk about stars. That's gonna be a fun time. <laughs> you go choose Pikachu, you show them. Screw the rules, you got money. And money has power. In the theory of grand scheme of things. <laughs> so here's the story. Spoil alert. John got the Squirtle. Dolby's gonna end up getting the Squirtle. And I'm gonna get a Squirtle because of that. I could go with Bulbasaur. Make things easier on myself, but it only seemed fair. No, fool, you can't forget the name of the squirrel. This is the important part. <laughs> of all the naming you had to do so far, that's the most important name. Because John Squirtle is Revolution, Dopey Squirtle is Compromise, and I decided to name my Squirtle Order. I mean, they like it. Alrighty. Let's hope the rival battle doesn't go so bad, because I do confess I spent a lot of time trying to do this because I had luck I didn't have in my first playthrough before starting it over. But I'm gonna try to swear off resetting. From this day forward, I am gonna go with what I want. Oak, stop saying it. Stop being tutorial. We don't care. No, I am hoping that lowering the defense is gonna give me the edge. Although. <laughs> yeah, this is going a lot more smoothly. I think this is about as smooth as the first time. Pretty ironic that I got such good luck the first time around. An order is in the lead. Bring order to all kind. Hmm, excellent. Screw your tutorials, Oak! We got versus a race through! Stop trying to smell me. <laughs> okay. Okay, this seems pretty good. But if I know anything, things can go wrong very quickly. I don't need to be told how to pull up a menu. I know how to read signs, ma'am. I've played this game before. Get, just give me your potion and let me go along my merry way. So, I already have one more potion than most of the guys have. <laughs> I guess not running the wild Pokemon is gonna give me a bit of an edge over here. I know it's kinda weird that I am bothering with the tail whip and not just tackling everything, but I do find that like one, maybe two tail whips speeds up a battle a lot quicker. The issue is if you get carried away and forget that you still have to attack the opponent. Dang it, he's already in Virginia City. Hashtag John Cheats. <laughs> and that is the end of that joke. Because that's where I wanted to use it. So now I am never going to say it again. Alright. We beat this Pidgey, and we'll do good. Especially if we get a level out of it. Things will be going a lot more smoothly. I just got to... Not be lazy, and don't forget to stop by the Pokemon Center. I mean, I might be able to get away with not healing until I get back. But the more important thing is checkpoints. If something terrible does happen and I somehow black out. Fun fact about this game. You get sent to the last Pokemon Center you healed at. So, even if you've gone all the way to the Viridian Forest, 
if you never bothered to heal in Pewter City, and somehow lose to the gym leader, guess where you get sent? You get sent all the way back to the last place you heal, whether it be home or Viridian City. I'd rather not talk about that, though. And he ain't playing around, even being accused of being a cheater, and that's why I brought that joke up. Wait, he's already getting the Pokedex? What the heck am I doing wrong? Must be because I healed. Whatever the case may be, we are now on our way to head back to the Grand Viridians of Viridians. <laughs> Compromise! Revolution! Such a perfect pair, especially if you've seen their series before. <laughs> yeah, we're all raising here. Why don't they have any self respect for that? At least I'm finally at this. And I'm gonna fall a little bit more behind because instead of going right to the Verdian Forest after this, I have a little detour to make. It should save me a lot of time in the long run, though, so it just all depends on how kind the RNG is gonna be to me. Hopefully, it's not a pain in the butt, because it seems to be kind to me at the moment. The five Pokeballs. <laughs> Now, the way I have things planned out, I gotta stop by the Mart. Anyways, but not until after I pick up the potion. Hopefully we can have some good come out then. <laughs> Revolution's confused. Revolution hurt itself in confusion about the cause. <laughs> really? This is where I keep getting iffy. Do I battle now or after I catch my next Pokemon? I guess it depends on what I run into. If I run into like a level 2 Rattata, I might go for it. But it'll save me a trip if I don't have to go to the Pokemon Center before catching my partner. Their next party member. By ours, I mean me. Especially in this particular case. Oh, what do you know? It's a level 2 Rattata. Pokemon can sting for thousands of years. <laughs> also, one of these Pokemon had Pokemon X and that. Oh, for some reason I can't do that. I'm trying to talk as he's talking, but I just, like, when I'm listening to him talk, I can hear myself talk, especially when it's the same exact words. And I lose track of what I'm saying. <laughs> it's a little weird. I'm not sure if anyone else goes through that or if that's like one of my many defects that I apparently have. Basically what I was trying to say. This is a following. I'll even take my earphones out so I can say it better. Here is your Pokedex. One the Pokemon you have to get is a Pokemon that's been extinct for thousands of years. Why do you think he's sending you away? Also, one of these Pokemon are one that I'm never going to give you. And you'll have no way to find it. Have fun! <laughs> okay. I would prefer a female Mankey because I caught a Pokemon, a female Mankey before, and it worked out pretty well. But I'm not going to play with RNG. I'm going to just stick with what it gives me because that's where I made terrible mistakes. And past attempts. And I'm not gonna give myself the benefit of restarting anymore. But I guess I'll still call it Kuma because I can't think of anything else to call it. And about teams. None of them decided teams, and naturally not me either. Oh. I'm just torn between what or not I should fight here, and I actually probably should have. Pokemon so it could get experience, but hey. Take it. I mean, if one of my Pokemon get experience from this fight, I think it'll be worth it. 
since I gotta make a trip to the Pokemon Center anyways. <sighs> Great, John is already getting the Beatles. <sighs> Do I even dare to quote that? And there's another potion up there, but no, that's the not what I want to go to. <laughs> Inside jokes that you guys won't hear. Sorry about that, folks. All right. So I think I heal in the Pokemon Center, then go into the Pokemon Mart, get what I want. <sighs> Depending on how lucky or unlucky I am, will determine if I need antidotes or not. And the sad thing is, I know from past experience, if I don't need antidotes, I'm gonna need a paralyzed heal. Okay, so my goal here is to try to have my main key get as much experience as I can from the Viridian Forest. Nope, don't need more paralyzed heals. I should have pardon me wanted to buy more Pokeballs, but I did catch that without much of a hitch. So I should have enough Pokeballs to last me until the next town at the very least. There's only one thing I could possibly want to catch. And I'm obviously not gonna go out of my way to catch it. Just one of my attempts I actually did have the luck of running into it. Speaking of luck of running into it, we'll just stay tuned to the footage you see along the sides. It'll make sense in a bit. Bum, 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 dum, dum. Well, you know, the Jeopardy theme fits in perfectly. I mean, it was slowed down just slightly, but holy cow, that was long if the whole Jeopardy theme could fit. Alright, so, okay. I'm a little behind, but I did have to make a little detour for my second party member. And it should pay off now, depending on... How well the forest goes. I do have potions if I need them. I know I'm gonna have a Pokeball to get right here, so it'll be worth the time. Oh, shoot. No, it's a potion, even better. And of course I run into a wild Pokemon. Hello, Weedle. Mm, not gonna risk it. Not a wild Pokemon, at least, especially when the trainers give me more experience. Hello there, trainer. Hey, you got Pokemon. Come on, let's battle. So, who's in the lead at this particular point? Um, I think both of them are actually ahead of me a little. Okay, let's hope that luck is kind of me. And I keep getting string shots. That way, Kuma can just level off these Weedles that are in here. That would be nice. Okay, let's see how well you take my scratches after two leers. Oh boy. And RNG is just so fabulously kind to me today. One, let's see if I can... Gosh, probably wanted to use that antidote now. But I'm almost gonna take it out, so it's almost not even worth using the antidotes until after the battle. Actually, depends on what other Pokemon he has, I forgot. This should at least give me a level though, right? Goom's up to level 4. Dang it. Uh, I guess I'll use it here. Especially since Carapy can't poison. <laughs> and I'm gonna be slow. Ah! Look who got the Pikachu! No, nope. 
Go ahead, keep screenshotting me, even though you're so freaking low. Let's just go for it now, because I am too impatient to wait around. If this can keep screenshotting me, I may be able to take it out without having to help lower more, and that would actually be better. Yeah, so much for that. Come on. Do I risk it? Do I risk the biscuit? No. Anyone with half a brain would actually bother to just tackle that point. And yep, it was worth the healing. Nope. Menu! Default back to the attacking like I want to! Alright. So Kumu got to level 5 for one battle, that's fabulous. Nah, it's the next level that I learn slow kick. Not that that will help me in the forest, but... Still. It makes justifying... Going after the trainers. Rather than trying to go for the grass and fight wild Pokemon, because... The encounter rate gets pulled up, that takes up time, then the Pokemon comes out. And when these guys, you have multiple Pokemon just from one encounter rate. So, it'll add up to good things in the end. Okay, dang it. This is pretty scary. Going straight for the poison stings there, Weedle. And I get poisoned. Adult. I swear, if you poison me again, now I gotta potion up. <sighs> this is worth it. There goes both my free potions in a single bat. Finally, it goes for the string shot. Sorry, you just put this thing here and see what it does. Fine, go for string shot when you're faster. I can deal with that. I'm kinda hoping that I can just finish off the weed all with all the being not low on health. But it's not attacking me, so I am e okay with this. Alright. So first status throw out race almost out of the forest. Dovey's kinda going through the forest pretty well. I feel a bit out of luck. Though so I'm finally starting to become the same levels as the Pokemon I'm fighting, and I get poisoned again. Fabulous. I know there's at least one antidote in here, but I don't know if I'll be able to take out this Weedle before. Oh yeah, and there's the walking I do outside the battle. Oh dang it. If Kuma faints in here, I am just screwed out of all the luck. So this is bad. Oh no, this is very, very, very bad. What did I say about not resetting? I guess on the bright side, I did heal, so if I don't make it all the way from the forest, I can set but No, that's not good. Dang it, I knew I should have bought one more antidote, that's all I needed, and now I'm not gonna have enough health to survive! <sighs> this is a scary business here. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Oh, that is just fabulous. <sighs> Why do I keep having bad luck? This has never happened to me before in the forest. A lot of bad things have happened to me in the forest, but this has not been one of them. I almost think getting paralyzed by a Pikachu would have been a good thing. We don't have to worry about running off freaking antidotes. Please, Crit, please? Oh, that works. Dang it. 
house of health. Okay, I can block three flashes. No more, no last. One, two, can't take the pressure. Alright, come on, I'm, I'm counting on you to get through the rest of this for me. Because this is third gen, so someone's gonna go down. Dang it, no, don't run back and forth. We kinda need to make every step count here. Till we get the running shoes. Alright, what do we got here? Another Weedle. Nope! Don't want to deal with you. Okay, where's Dovey where he's, there's a Rattata to run into? Dang it. I don't recall any Rattatas anywhere around here. He didn't beat the gym already. Oh no, that was just a wild Pokemon. <sighs> Counter 8, please be kind to me. Weedles, get out of my fractal face. Okay, I remember walking down here was worth my time last time, so I'm gonna go get whatever's here. And another potion, perfect. Yeah, potion's definitely worth the slight detour. Really wild Pokemon? Nah. Good experience, but no. It's not worth the time. We got one more trainer coming up here. And I'm getting a bit of a pickle, because I got no more antidotes. If this bug catcher has... A Weedle. <laughs> I am in a bit of a tizzy. Alright. No poison that time, stick it there you much. I just scratch away and hope that the defense lowering will speed up the process. And they're both at the gym. No, I am not. But things could be going a lot worse. By the way, that means don't get poisoned, Kuma! <sighs> Great, I'm gonna have to waste potions just to get out of here. I can tell already. Really? No! No crit! Now I gotta heal, because there's no way I'm gonna have enough. <sighs> Dang it. I could have probably got away without using the potion. And that stings almost as much as the poison stings. At least the plan is kind of going as planned with Kuma getting all the levels from the forest. And that will make the coming up route pretty good. Hopefully, Order got enough experience to be able to. <sighs> Last me through the gym. Please just make it to the Pokemon Center because I will be screwed if I faint before getting healed up. Well. I think I have enough potions just from picking them off the ground to get me for the gym. Which reminds me, I gotta get Order out in the front here. Order will definitely soak up all the experience in here, and Kuma will help me out in the route after. Yep, I got this all planned out. I'm sorry. I just couldn't talk up for that section. Camper Lilium. Oh hey, I didn't know you were in this gym. Keep your Weedles to yourself though. And no one's gonna get that reference. 
I've had enough of Weedles here. I don't need to see his Weedle too. Yeah, this Geodude is gonna give Order a nice chunk of experience. Hmm. <sighs> I would say it's the point where Johnson's oh I'm making mistakes and I would point out how I'm making more mistakes, but when I actually think about it, things are actually going pretty smooth for me right now, even though I'm behind. I mean, order feigning kinda sucks, but I was able to get by without that issue. Oh dear. Okay. I gotta actually keep talking, or I'm gonna have to put that up to explain why I'm just pausing and no one wants to hear that on this video. Well, I have a level 10 Squirtle and level 9 Mankey. I actually is it level 9 or no, I think it's just only level 7. Order's gonna be pretty buff by the time this gym is over though. Hello, Brock. Yeah, you have Rock Hard Will. <laughs> so of course they're all the rock type. Which means they're all going to go down to itty bitty bubbles. Just as planned. I'm pretty sure they're the same level as before, so this should be a one shot. If it's not, then I'm gonna panic because that means things are actually going differently than before. Oh my god, everyone put your bags over your head. It's panic time. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem a big deal. But that means I'm not as high as level as I was before. So I don't know if I can just keep up and going this move. <laughs> Level 12. Which means Onyx is gonna take more hits to take out. As long as I'm not afraid to use potions, that will be fine. Missing your bind looks very helpful to my cause, Onyx. Thank you for supporting the order. We will have tickets for you in the afterlife. For the peace that order will bring to all. Thank you for being such a cooperative Onyx. Yay, now I get Water Gun, and to be fair, I'm never gonna use Withdrawal because it takes up more time to buff defense. I actually find lowering defense more useful for me in this particular race. So, I know a bubble's kind of pointless, but yeah, you never know when it'll be needed. And it'll probably get replaced soon enough. And money, yay, that's exactly what I want. And this TM, this TM is gonna make everything so easy in the next route. This is Rock Tomb going right on Mr. Mankey. And even though it takes a little extra time to teach a TM, it's gonna make blasting through this area so much more simple. Which reminds me... <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> this point in the video. <laughs> okay, focus, focus. Do not get distracted by all this, all this stuff. The mark's along the way to the Pokemon Center, so it might save me some time. I never stop by this mark, but if they have repels. They have repels. This could be what gives me the edge. And I don't need antidotes anymore. I might use another Pokeball. Do I have enough for 10? I don't think I'm gonna need that many, though. Don't waste time! I probably should have bought potions, but I'm not gonna waste time to going back there now. Actually, I could probably go right up ahead because I'm trying to go through this section with Mankey. If I do got a backtrack to heal, well, I think it might have been a good idea to get more potions, but. I got things planned out, and it's gonna work out great. Ha ha ha. 
this is where the comeback begins. You're not part of the comeback, Miz. Ugh. Stop being in the way, lass. Great, level 9. Fiji is not on the schedule. Come on, rock to pull through for me. <sighs> Please one shot. No, that's not even close to one shotting. It. Speed is down though. I'm just gonna help the out speed and take it out. If it's another Pidgey though, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mm, another Pidgey. I can't take another Gust. I gotta go into order. We gotta bring some order into this chaos. I did almost as much as a uh, rock tune. Which kind of stinks. You're not one of the trainers I was planning to fight. I mean, I guess that gives me a little more experience and a little bit of money, but. I still gotta fight you before I head back to heal. Because now I don't think I can get through this without using a potion. And. I think it'd be nice to hold on to my money for a super potion. Oh, it was a level 10 Caterpie. And you tackle me to death! Okay, okay. Things are going terrible. And I wouldn't have been able to survive that hit if the darn Caterpie, if that darn last wasn't in the way. Fighting her was a bad idea after all. Okay. Dang it, the video's almost over, so I'm just gonna have to try to take out this guy and rush back to the Pokemon Center. Okay. Dang it. Game poison is not part of the plan. <sighs> really? You're making me use my potion here? Because I am not gonna waste my money here. Arrgh. Yeah, the episodes is about over. No, nope. no. Nope. Come on, I can, I can finish it up at least. Oh. Just fabulous. This is. I was actually at least able to get halfway through this route before the first episode was over. Now I'm gonna just have to end it right here. For the battle. It's all because of that darn middling laugh. And I guess I'll just wrap things up here. So, thank you all for watching this response. Again, I highly encourage you to check out the uh, Sepping Right and their ongoing Fire Red versus Leaf Green versus. And it'll be a pretty fun time. Probably more funny than me. But you'll just have to see for yourself. Take care.